Hey guys, how's it going? Howell here from Noise.co.uk, bringing you another episode of This Week in Metal, uh, your weekly news roundup of everything that has happened in This Week in Rock and Metal. So the big news this week, which doesn't really need that much of an introduction, is the sad passing of uh, Soundgarden vocalist and audio slave vocalist uh, Chris Cannell, who was found dead in his hotel room last Thursday. And it's needless to say how what an absolutely tragic event this is. Our love here from Noise goes out to his friends and his family in this really trying time. Uh, of the past couple of days, the um, events have kind of evolved a little bit in to say what was the cause of his death and it came to down to suicide. What the impact and the implications of this event actually has has had for rock. I mean, I'm not, I'm probably won't, we probably won't be seeing these um, implications until like a, maybe a couple of years down the line. Um, but it's absolutely devastating. We are so sad to hear of his passing and um, again to all his friends and family, we wish them all the love in the world and Chris, we will miss you a lot. No other voice will ever come closer to uh, what you projected over the past, well, since the early '90s and in, like, uh, late '80s as well, with Soundgarden breaching in from the from that Seattle scene, which has cemented rock in modern times. So, thank you so much, Mr. Cornell, and uh, hopefully we'll hopefully we'll 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 get through this, and um, and we will remember you always, especially through your songs, and yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much all we have to say for that. We'll we'll, we'll bring you more updates on. Uh, the causes and so forth uh, over the next couple of weeks or so and keep you on top of that so yeah no all the best now all the love to his family and in other news this week uh satiricon uh the mighty norwegian black metal giant who helped cement the scene in his most extremely beautiful dark artiness uh have signed to napalm records which is absolutely great um and they've announced that they're going to be releasing a brand new album coming out uh this autumn it should be out the uh well it's scheduled to be out anyway on the 22nd of september um now, currently there's no name for this album as of yet but if there's anything to go by, it's going to be dark, it's going to be brooding, it's going to be mm, all kinds of darky deliciousness. Now, if you can count how many times I've done dark in that sentence, I think you're going to pretty much envision and picture what kind of album this is going to be. So, um, so this is really exciting. Thomas Cesar, CEO of Napalm Records, says about the signing, We are proud to announce the signing of one of this most influential extreme metal act and pioneer of a whole genre. This up-and-coming album will surely set another milestone in heavy music and we are honoured to release it this fall, which is cool. So the new album is out the 22nd of September via Napalm Records and we'll bring you a little more news as that develops as that goes along. Next thing, and our final news segment this week, uh, Iron Maiden fans were probably wondering why they haven't been hearing Hallowed Be Thy Name played in the set since about maybe August of last year. Um, and unfortunately, it's come to our attention that Iron Maiden are in a bit of a lawsuit with another band called Beckett. Now, uh, the issue is that this band have apparently con have written uh, lyrics that featured in Hallow Be Thy Name and the, the song Nomad, which is from uh, Brave New World. Uh, and apparently they've written these lyrics back in 1969 off the album Life, uh, Life Shadow. Due to this factor, Iron Maiden are unable to play these songs, which really, really, really sucks. Now, Iron Maiden have issued uh, a statement saying... Uh, the what like detailing what's actually going on and why this has been brought to count, but they haven't. Ex but if they're coming under the scrutiny of it now, if they're in the lawsuit, what's the harm of not bringing it into the forefront already? Now that could be could be me and my complete legal ignorance of why they're not playing it in the first place. But just a little point of interest, like I saw them back in 2011 in Sonosphere and they didn't play it then either. I'm still yet to see Hello Be Thy Name be played live. So let's just get this whole suit over and done with. I'm seeing them next week. I know it's not going to be played, but god damn it, you can, a man can't stop him from, you know, at least praying for that matter to happen. <sighs> you wish anyway, never mind. So, we'll keep you posted about what's happening there, Iron Maiden fans. I'm sure he'll come back into the, into the set soonish. I hope. That's all you can really do, really, at the end of the day, so never mind. And, yeah, so that pretty much sums up your news for this week. And just before we go, I'd just like to share my track of the week, which is Volur's Breaker of Oaths, which is taken from the up-and-coming album Ancestors, which is out the 2nd of June, via Prophecy. Think, think of like a darker version of like Paul Bearer, um, 
It has a little bit more weight to it. it of course, it's got like the um, the druidy type um, instrumentals are going in, like the violins. That was like, oh, they're so eerie. Um, that really like paint a massive picture of like this olden timed world that you never thought deemed possible um, inside your head, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, they're Canadian, <laughs> which is um, outstanding in itself. They're a really interesting band, so I definitely say check it out. And like I said, we're going to put the description for the video and the link for the video in the description below for you to check out. And that's our episode for this week. Uh, let us know if you've missed anything. Uh, comment in the section below. Make sure to give this uh, video a like and subscribe to our channel. You can visit us at facebook.com forward slash noise UK. I've been Howell. I will see you next week for This Week in Metal. Peace. Boom.